Hey everyone, welcome to Sheba's Cookery World. In today's video, let's see an easy wedge seek kebab recipe. You can use any vegetables of your choice to make this seek kebab. Click the red subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notification of new videos. Let's get started with the recipe. Heat a pan and add in some cooking oil into it. Once the oil turns hot, add in some jeera or cumin and wait until they splutter. Next, we will add in some finely chopped onion. Also add some ginger garlic paste. Saute this on a medium flame until the raw smell is gone. Now we will add in the vegetables. In goes some finely chopped carrot, green capsicum, some French beans, and some beetroot. Add in some finely chopped green chilies. Now saute this on a medium flame for a couple of minutes. The beetroot and the capsicum gives the seek kebab a very good flavor. Add in some salt as per your taste. Turmeric powder, red chilli powder, some coriander powder and some garam masala. We will continue cooking this on a medium flame until the vegetables turn slightly soft. This should take around 7 to 8 minutes. Also add in some freshly chopped coriander leaves. Cook this for 2 more minutes and your vegetables should be ready. Once it comes down to room temperature, transfer the mixture into a bowl. I'm just gonna use half the quantity now and reserve the rest for later use. To this I'm gonna add some boiled and mashed potatoes. I will also add some roasted basin or chickpea flour. This gives a nice binding to the seek kebab. Next, I'm going to add some grated cheese. The cheese gives a nice flavor to the seek kebab, but if you want, you can skip it. We will now combine all the ingredients together. Keep mixing this until you get a smooth paste. It will be a lot easier to mash them with your hands. Now the seek kebab mixture is ready. Let's start making them. I have these bamboo skewers with me which I'm gonna use to make these seek kebab. These skewers were pretty long ones so I cut them into two pieces. Take small quantity of the mixture and wrap them around the skewer just like you see here. Just spread the mixture along the length of the skewer and give it a cylindrical shape. Don't worry if it is slightly out of shape. We will shape them again before grilling them. So make all of the seek kebabs in this way. So I was able to prepare 6 wet seek kebabs here. Just correct the edges once again and your seek kebabs are ready to be grilled. In order to grill the seek kebabs, I am using a grill pan. In case you do not have one, you can use your regular tawa as well. Now add in some cooking oil and spread it with the help of a brush. Once the pan turns hot, we will place the seek kebabs one by one. Reduce the flame to a medium and cook them. Now we will flip it and cook the other side. So we will cook the seek kebab for 1 to 2 minutes on each side. When you use a grill pan you get a very nice pattern on the seek kebabs. Now these have been cooked from all the sides, I am going to remove them from the grill pan.
Grill the remaining sea kebabs in the same way. You can remove them onto a kitchen towel if there is excess oil. Now the wet sea kebabs are ready. You can serve them along with some mint chutney. It is a quick wet starter that you can make with the vegetables that you have at home. And if you do not have these bamboo skewers, you can also use some wooden spoons like the ice cream spoons. These wet sea kebabs taste absolutely delicious. So do try this recipe and let me know how it turns out. Give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and post your feedback in the comment section below. And follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter and Blogger. Click below to subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon for notification of new videos.